So you've just finished high school or you've just gotten your GED and now you're wondering, what do I do next? Maybe you've taken a gap year and you're thinking that it's time to get serious about the rest of my life. Or maybe it's been a little bit longer than that. Well, you've come to the right place. Today, we are going to talk about some options for what to do next. What can you achieve? What's ahead of you? Today, I am going to discuss post-secondary options for high school students. Many of these options are going to require a high school diploma or a GED, but some of them do not. So just make sure to check out locally the prerequisites for your area. I'm Terrell and this is Absolutely Studying. I bootstrapped my way through university while juggling a full-time job and a family, and now I want to pay it forward by supplying you everything you need to flourish in your academic career. Often, our families or friends have expectations of us that just don't feel authentic, and we want to weigh out our options. If this is you, stick around because we will discuss a few choices for you that you can pivot and find a career that really suits you. Let me know what degree option you are interested in pursuing or if any of these really resonate with you. If you are intimidated about the long hours of studying you have ahead of you, check out the study planner I have in the description. It has a ton of useful resources and it's free. Post-secondary is intimidating, especially for those who took a gap year, had a few years off to work and live life. I remember making the decision to go back to university and it was one of those things where I was just stuck in a job that I couldn't stomach anymore and I just needed something different. I needed my life to change. And I went back to university and I learned so much about myself and so much about what I wanted out of life. And despite having a clear plan when I went in, it came out looking something like I had never ever expected. University is a great place to discover your interests. You are forced in the first couple of years to take courses from a variety of different faculties. You might discover that you love something you hadn't expected. I thought of changing my major several times. I entered and I went into a pre-med degree, but then physics caught my eye, calculus. I nearly changed my degree so many times because I found so many different subjects and I just fell in love with them. You might even get invites to join honors programs in faculties that are outside your own and you do really well in. In university, you're going to need some solid study skills and strategies. And my planner has a tracker that can help you plan out each of your study activities for the entire semester. Colleges often help you train for a specific type of job. Some programs can take as little as a few months, others take years. You can often take some credits in college and then transfer those to a university if you find something that you love. And some colleges will even help you find a job afterwards by sending you for internships. Unfortunately, Colleges are not always cheaper than universities, but sometimes they are easier to get into. If you are intimidated by university, you can always try taking a few classes at college and see if academia is the path for you. But maybe just check out prices in your area and see if it's really co more cost effective to take those classes in college rather than just going to university. Trade schools are also an amazing option that are so often overlooked. Sometimes they operate out of college, but they also might operate out of the specific union for their schools. So you might have a specific school for the plumbers union or the electrician union and so on. Trades are always in demand. They're never going to go away and they pay a ton of money. They also usually take much less time than university and you get paid apprenticeships while working your seals. Trade school and college will also require effective study strategies and a lot of time management. Tracking how confident you are with each concept introduced will help you know where to focus your study efforts. My study planner also has a confidence tracker to track how comfortable you are with certain concepts and how you progress in understanding and mastery of them. 
Next is entrepreneurship and freelance. I group these together because either way, you're your own boss and it takes a ton of hustle and hunger to really build your brand, build your company and build your client base. At the end of the day, there is nothing like being your own boss, but this is a grind for real. It's really hard and you have to be extremely disciplined. You do not necessarily need a ton of money, but you do need to be resourceful and you do need to get out there. Networking is key if you want to pursue either one of these options. A lot of times, you will never know who is going to be able to connect you to your next lead or be able to offer you that next opportunity. You also don't necessarily need to start with a fantastic idea or invention, but you do need to learn from your mistakes. You need to learn how to tweak your product or your service and continue developing new iterations of it as you go. Listen to customer feedback. Your customers are going to give you the most valuable information about your products and services and following what they are telling you is not necessarily something to get insulted or upset about. Take their information as useful and use it to tweak and offer a better service than your competitors. If you've reached this point in the video and you still don't know exactly what you want to do, I do have a workbook in the description. It's a passion planner workbook. It will take you on a journey of self-discovery and kind of help you flesh out some goals and some dreams that you didn't know you had. Check it out and see where it leads you. If you found this video useful, I have another video that's called five things that I learned in university that had nothing to do with my degree. You might find it really helpful. I'm going to link it above in the cards and below in the description. Try checking that out next. And don't think that just because you choose one path or option that you can't change your mind later. Use your degree in a non-traditional way, or perhaps going and pursuing one degree will make you realize how much you love a different one. If you are getting ready to embark on the study struggle, don't forget to check out my study planner in the description. It is chocked full of useful resources. There is the study tracker with more than 20 different study activities, and you can track how you study each concept throughout the entire semester. That is going to help you make sure that you understand all facets of a concept and get as comfortable, as confident as possible before exam time. There are also study session planners to help you plan out how you want to spend each study session, Q&A planners to make practice tests, and even a confidence tracker. I cannot understate how useful this resource is. And now is that time for you to like this video and subscribe to my channel. I put out a new video every Thursday about study tips, organizational hacks, and homework help to help you through that study struggle. If you do have any specific questions, leave them in the comments, or you can check out my socials in the description. And I would love to connect with you. Until next time, I hope you have an amazing adventure.